welcome back to my channel this channel is all about motherhood and today we'll be talking about teething hmm i know it's a very very important topic we're going to be talking about teething teething is a natural part of every child's development at some point tooth will start coming out and the process is not always easy for both parents and the child it usually happens from three to four months to like two years to like two and a half years. And by two and a half year old, it's expected that a child should have the first complete set of teeth. Teeth can be tough and painful, so it will require patience and lots of love. Babies will need soothing odds cuddles, plenty tender loving care. Titting is serious and may not be fun at all. When a child starts going through titting, the child will be in pain and will get very cranky and will need more of you. Your child will need your attention, will need more of you, will need the carrying around, the love, so much love. Yes. Let's quickly look at things you should look out for to know when your child is teething. By that, I mean the signs and symptoms of teething. The first one I'm going to talk about is increased drooling. Because um, of your child's sore gum, they'll need to be opening, he or she will need to be like leaving, the child will be leaving mouth open and because of that lots of drooling will happen and you will need to be putting like a bib around your child's neck every time i'm going to recommend bandana bibs yes bandana bibs this is something like this this is newbie bandana bib and you can just put it around your child's neck so that it will absorb everything that is coming out from your child's mouth. It's close to the neck, so it will be good, and your child can bite on the tita part of it. So it's very, very good. And also, you will need a face white like this. This is Johnson and a face white, so that you can clean your child's mouth from time to time to avoid rashes around the mouth. It happens, so you just have to avoid it. And also, you must always remove, like, change your child's clothing to avoid cold. Because you know how it is. Your child's clothes will be wet, and you need to change it from time to time. The second um, thing that happens is the swollen gum that I talked about. They are going to have swollen gum, and you need something to suit it. Then your child may start refusing to eat. Yes, some children will have low appetite when they are going through that sitting. More often than not, the child will become cranky and be having restless sleep. And may also find it difficult to sleep. The truth is, even for adults, when we are going through pains, you would not be able to sleep well. You just be like, so you can expect that. Your child will have uh, restless nights and it's just for you to give the soothing hugs and that will go a long way. He or she will also like get to the stage when they start putting everything, everything in the mouth, including sleepers, books, I mean anything. And at that point, at this point, you have to be careful and watch what your child is putting in his or her mouth because um, it can cause, you, you have to watch it to avoid infection. Avoid infection. Then again, your child likely elevated temperature. And with this, using Prastamol, children Prastamol may just be fine. Some doctors uh, prescribe ibuprofen, but I use Prastamol for all my children and it was always okay. Then for my second son, I noticed that for every tooth that, that came out, he was always having like, he will have cold and cough. Then like slight fever and after that you just see the tooth will just pop out. 
So it could be that too, cold cough. Some children use that to bring out to to bring out their teeth. So then there is a meat out there that's tooling and vomiting uh, symptoms of teething. Well, doctors have said over and over again that this cannot be symptoms of teething. It is most likely an infection as a result of what a child has put in his or her mouth and reaction to other stuff. So please watch out for such. Watch out, watch out. Watch what your child puts in his or her mouth. Now to what you can do to help your child through teething. The first tip I'm going to talk about is the washcloth tip. You can get a clean, a clean washcloth. It can be a small towel. You can just put water on it, squeeze it, then put it inside the freezer. And after like 10 to 15 minutes, you just bring it out and give your child to bite on. It helps a lot. Because they need something to just reduce the pain, something cold to suit the area. And this always go a long way in helping babies go through it. Now, the second tip I'm going to talk about is you can use your finger. You just massage your, you put your finger, make sure your hands are clean. Put your finger in your baby's mouth and just rub your baby's gum with your finger just rub and you can also massage it like gently you just massage with your finger or your knuckle just do it gently and you see your child biting on your finger then you can also wrap a washcloth around your finger and put it on ice then place it on your baby's gum then again you can massage the outer parts gently you just like press gently or you do like this the upper part gently and this will help it will soothing it will reduce the pain at least for that period that you are doing it then the next tip i'm going to talk about is like i said earlier on cold items help soothe sitting babies so you can if your child um, you can use um you can put like titters inside the fridge. Put titters inside the fridge, like nubi titter, like there's this nubi ring titter. They also have the key type. You can put, they are safe, you can put in the fridge. Fruit titters, you can also put them in the fridge. I love the Sophie, the giraffe. Then there's also a banana tooth, uh, toothbrush like is in form of a banana that you can put in the fridge let me show you sample of the fruit titter you can just it comes in like five pieces you can just you can easily put them in the fridge i said fridge not freezer don't use the freezer because it can become too cold for comfort, as in your child might not like it if it's frozen. And also for the likes of uh, the Nubi ring titter, some that come with gel inside or water, if it becomes too, uh, if it becomes frozen, your child might bite on it and the thing might break and cause choke hazard. So please don't freeze. Don't freeze. Just like put in the fridge and once it's cold it's good and fine for your for your next tip if your child is no longer on exclusive breastfeeding you can give cold vegetables like carrots all you need to do is you get carrots wash it and put in the fridge and you just give your child to bite on to play with so it helps it helps a lot your child will just be struggling with it but He'll be able to use the carrot to like brush the his gum and that will go a long way in suiting the pain. Then if the another tip that I will talk about is using a fruit feeder, food feeder. This 
you will open it and put fruits inside you can use banana you can use watermelon any any fruit you want to use you just put inside and fill it up close it put inside the fridge or freezer once it's frozen you just give your child and your child will bite on it and this helps a lot especially when your child is not eating it will help to make sure your child is taking something healthy as in take fruit and at the same time the cold feeder will be suiting the the gum um, is or gum so it's very good and if your child is still on exclusive breastfeeding you can fill it up with breast milk or you fill it up with formula and you just allow it to freeze and give your child so breast milk your child will enjoy breast milk it will just be in form of a frozen as in it will be frozen so it will still be good and it will help a lot now the next thing i'm going to talk about is the pacifier popsicle yes i got this online and is a nice idea is you put this a pacifier event pacifier you remove the cover and pour milk inside the cover then you place the pacifier in it and put inside the fridge or freezer and once it's frozen you bring it out the milk would have gotten frozen and everything will just look like it's uh, like a popsicle and your child can just use it enjoy breast milk and at the same time it will help in certain the gum area um, the pain will definitely reduce i will also talk about yes before i talk about this i will mention the because your um a child a child going through teething will need to be like picking things like i said earlier or picking anything around you can avoid that by putting this meeting is a meeting but it has teeter on it and your child you can just put it on your child's hand and your child can bite on it your child can take it and you are sure that at every time your child has something to just bite on instead of biting his or her fingers you can just have this and bite on it then there is this nubi soothing gel that i like very much is very safe you can read about it is very safe is is good and you can use it is a gel you just place a tiny as a part on your finger and just rub it on your child's gum it helps to numb the area for a while but the only thing about the gel is um some mothers overuse it and it's bad is bad too much of everything is definitely bad and it might have side effects so don't use too much of it it's just once in a while just put a little bit and just rub on the gum and it also comes with a massager like a pacifier like a teeter that you can also put in the fridge and do the same way i earlier mentioned about the other pacifiers and, and teeters so that's it about the the tips i have for teething i know it's not easy but remember this is just a part of a child's growth process is a just something that has to come it's a necessary phase and it will pass it's not going to be there forever so just manage it make sure your child is fine and it will surely pass also note that every child reach their milestone at different times so teething is another milestone and children are different don't compare your child with any other child teeth will come out at some point everything will come out so don't compare oh this child already has four and my child only has one yes my first son had one one i used to think two uh, like two are supposed to just come out at the same time but he had one till it was eight months so children are different don't compare 
Also, lastly, once the artists start coming out, you should move from cleaning with, um, cause in the beginning you can clean your baby's gum with like brush baby wipe, uh, gum wipes. But later, once you start having one, two, four, you should move to something like this is a finger brush. You just put your finger inside it and wash, wash your baby's teeth, tooth, teeth with this brush and non fluoride toothpaste. It helps to keep your baby's teeth clean. And later, you can move to a better brush with fluoride with, with uh, toothpaste so that you can avoid cavities. Very important. So if this was helpful for you, if you like the video, please, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe because every Friday I'm going to be coming with new topic with something important that I know you will like. Anything you want us to talk about, you can drop it in the comment below. Drop it and I will definitely talk about it. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like the video and share. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you and have a beautiful day.